Hey everybody, Jim Perry from Reach and Jim Perry Metal Detecting here. So this is a little bit different video today. Uh, for those of you who are joining us from Reach, Jim Perry, um, you're going to see a bit of metal detecting today and a lesson that's drawn from that. From those, for those of you who are here for the metal detecting side of this video, you're going to get a chance to see a lesson that I'm drawing for my students in REACH classes. So uh, you may have seen over my last few videos uh, here in Southeast Minnesota, the weather is getting colder and colder. Uh, we've had very, very little snow, but with the cold temperatures, most of the ground has become completely undiggable. The ground in the, the lawns uh, and any of the trails or open areas and parks is completely undiggable. It is almost completely frozen in most spots um, and a shovel is not going to penetrate that frost. But I have a goal in mind. I, I started this hobby earlier this year and I really, really enjoy it and still want to be able to get out and metal detect. And over the last few weeks as it's gotten colder, I've thought, well, what about the, the frozen dirt? How bad do you want it? And I've had to adjust. So instead of digging in my lawn or in an area park or out on the trails or in open spaces, I've had to make my way into the woods. And there have been kind of unintended consequences from that. Um, I'm finding lots of shotgun shells. I really had no uh, appreciation for digging them until in the last few weeks when I've gotten a chance to be out here to a favorite spot in a favorite park and have learned how to date shotgun shells and have realized that most of them that I'm finding are between 100 and 120 years old, and I've found enjoyment from that. So that adjustment had to be made, but eventually it's gonna to be too difficult to be out here. Every time I'm out here, I'm, I'm feeling thankful, but I know that uh, a really hard freeze is coming. I know that snow is coming. I know that uh, the goal of getting out daily or almost every day is eventually gonna become completely impossible because of the weather. So what do I do? Um, my plan is to uh, spend those several months where I'm not able to get out doing research, looking for potential sites to detect next spring and doing research on them, learning more about metal detecting as a hobby and how I can improve myself in the hobby as well. Um, that's gonna keep my interest up during a time when I know that I can't get out. So just a few inches down, uh, you can actually see the ground is pretty frozen here, um, but with all of the leaf cover, it still is diggable. Uh, several inches down, just dug this shotgun shell. It's going to be kind of hard to see in, in light here, but this is a western 12-gauge uh, field shell. Pretty cool. Moving on, see what else we can find today. Now another iffy mid-tone, got a, another shell here. Let's, uh, take a closer look at it and I'll see if we can see it in the sun here. A little bit smaller. Um, very nice, not too difficult to dig. This one being, well, maybe two inches down. Very cool, moving on. So another uh, mid-tone, um, fairly strong signal kind of underneath this root here. Took a little bit of hacking away to get to it, but this is another UMC Co. New Club shotgun shell. Um, this would be uh, one of the oldest designs. There's uh, no design on there at all. Uh, there's no star, there's no circle, which would place this shell at somewhere between 1896 and the year 1900. 
Very cool. Uh, one of the older ones that I've found out here. So I don't have a huge amount of time out here after school today. Um, so I thought I'd get at least one live dig in for you. Um, get a tone that's a bit higher than the others today. Thought we'd see what this might be together. Hold on. Yeah, of course, an old can. That's all right. We'll haul this out with us and do our part to clean up the park. So I didn't have much time out here uh, today, but it was a pretty productive half hour. Let me show you what I found. So again, pretty productive half hour. Five shotgun shells. Um, a couple of them are, um, when I say newer, I mean up till possibility of the early 1960s uh, for sure the UMC coal is late 1800s um, Western field um, in the others are not nearly as old I still have got to look up this one I don't know much about um, this shell at all and this one I'll have to do some research after I clean it up it just was too dirty to to figure out while I was out here so you know, a nice afternoon before it's too dark to see so those of you who are purely here for the metal detecting video you're gonna get a chance to see a lesson from my reach classes uh, so this video isn't really about frozen dirt it's not about me uh, accomplishing a goal today that's a bit more difficult because of the frozen dirt but it really is about life so like the ground that has become more frozen and more difficult to dig, we all have goals in life that sometimes they are easy to accomplish. It's great getting out to detect in the summer. The weather's great, the nice is, uh, sun's out, it just, it's a nice day. When it gets colder, it's not only physically more difficult, but mentally more difficult knowing that uh, I have to kind of push through the discomfort of being a bit colder and the, um, the frustration of digging through frozen ground. We all have goals in life where things like that happen for real, where our goals are easily accomplished or working toward them are enjoyable. And then we have seasons where working toward those goals are more difficult and it might not be anywhere near as enjoyable. Uh, for metal detecting, the unenjoyable season would be winter, having to step away from it. But with those real life goals, what do we do when things get more difficult? We push and we push and we push and sometimes things are easy and sometimes they are more difficult. But then all of us have seasons where things, at least for the time being, become impossible. Forward movement might be impossible depending on the season that you're in with those personal life goals. So what do you do? Do you step aside? Do you give up those goals entirely? I would hope not. Uh, my suggestion would be not because like the seasons of the year, seasons in life change. Things become more difficult. Things can become completely impossible, but things always turn around and we need to prepare for that. So like me doing my preparation for detecting next year with research and learning more, those real life goals sometimes have to be set aside during times when we can't accomplish them. So if I have a goal of running a, a marathon and I have an injury, that season is done. I'm not able to get out and do that. If I have uh, a goal of, I don't know, becoming better at anything or making improvement in anything, if I'm in a stressful situation, I might not make the progress that I need to, and that progress might seem or actually be completely impossible until a later date. Again, the important thing is to not completely give up on that because that later date and that easier season is coming. Something to think about today. I wish you well. So, on my way out for the day, um, I don't know, probably, oh, 30 or 40 feet from where I found the silver-plated spoon last week, um, and just along the trail on my way out, just dug this, it was a 78 to 80 or a little bit higher. 
I'm seeing the end of a utensil. It is a complete spoon. This is only my second one found ever. This was oh a couple inches down. Let me um see if I can wipe it off here a bit and get a better idea of exactly what it is. So I I don't believe it's silver plate. It's got a really nice design on it. Um, we'll see how it cleans up. It's in pretty rough shape. Um, on the back, I got excited because I thought it said plated, uh, but there is something before the word plate. So uh, when I get home, I'll have to get some photos of this and do some research just to, uh, to make sure. But um, obviously this hillside just above the old lake um, has to be where people have picnicked. And I, I kind of, I think back, um, you know, a hundred years ago, um, when this lake was here and, and this would have been a grassy hillside, someone came out here, had a picnic, maybe even the same people is over there from the other find last week and dropped some of their silverware for me to find all these years later. Interesting find.